trains, planes and buses. I've finally reached my destination, the fantastic Koh Samet. Wow, I can't wait to see what this island has to offer. I'm gonna get to my hotel, put my bags down, grab myself a nice cold beer. After almost being rugby tackled to the ground by tuk-tuk drivers and uh, motorbike taxis, I've decided to do the 10 minute hike with all my bags and everything to my accommodation. Uh, stop off on the way, pick up a bit of street food, always something good to snack on. And uh, I'm going to be checking into this little place called the, uh, the Blue Whale. You nearly said the Blue Elephant then. It's the Blue Whale. It's a little guest house. They haven't got my room ready yet. But they said I could have a little peek at it. It cost me about 30 quid a night, which is 1,200 baht. Um, it's just the basics, double room, uh, double bed, small sink, toilet, shower, everything I need. Um, and I'm gonna hire a little scooter and get my head down tonight and go on a mission tomorrow. <music> So I'm heading through Koh Samet, pretty much High Street. This is the first place you'll get to if you come to visit Koh Samet. Um, a few little bars, a few little restaurants. Pretty chilled out. Lots of little pubs, so I've got to be careful um, whilst I'm riding. I concentrate on the road and not too much on the video. Um, yeah, it's an absolutely fantastic day. It's probably in its 30s, somewhere along that sort of um, heat. I've got my shorts and my t-shirt on. And I'm thoroughly excited about going to visit this beach um, and check out some food in a restaurant. It's lovely. As you can see, it's a bit of a slow pace. There's lots of bumps, so you can't really ride a motorbike fast, which is a good thing. It cuts down on all the accidents. And uh, one thing about Thailand is you know, if you do have an accident, even if it's not your fault 100%, you know, if someone walks out in front of you or crashes into you, um, when it goes in front of the judge, it is your fault. And their answer to it is basically, if you weren't here, it wouldn't have happened, which I suppose I'll stop for a little chat on the way. Obviously, I'll be confused as to where they're going. Um, solution to that plan your journey in it easier said than done sometimes I suppose a lot of little wild dogs around here as well uh, they have got a habit of chasing motorbikes now. so here we are we're gonna park up here in this little parking space because we're not allowed to drive the bike that's to drive the bike we're not allowed to drive the bike down to the beach So today I'm heading down to Ao Wai Beach. Uh, looks good. White sand, water, nice and clean. Oh my god! Definitely going to be stopping here for a swim today. Fantastic little beach. Look at that. Not overcrowded. Plenty of sunshine. White sand. Nice clear water. On that note, I'm getting my swimming things on and I'm going to take a little dip.
so today I'm going for the Penang curry with pork and there it is not quite sure what's in it never had it before a bit of rice and a little bit of a chili sort of extra uh, got lime leaves in it peas in it nice red sauce I guess that's a Thai red curry sauce it's made with Put a little bit on there I'm not going to go for the chilies just yet, I'm going to test it because sometimes it's not enough. Definitely hot enough, spicy, nice flavour, good, really nice, wow. Got a bit of spinach in here. Take these lime leaves out, kaffir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, absolute heaven on a plate. Cost about 250 baht altogether. Includes a can of Coke. That works out to probably about six, seven quid. Probably verging on eight quid. Not bad for a little meal. Got a lovely spot as well. Yep, that is uh, definitely worth one to try. The um, Panang curry. New one for me. Brilliant. Really tasty. Highly recommended. So, like every island, um, you get your quiet spots, but there are also places where you can go if you want to liven things up a little bit. And. This one is of no exception. It's called the Naga Bar. Um, it's all happening. It's going a bit crazy. Got it. All going. Traditional fire show on the beach. Oh, I get burned. So it's my last night in Koh Samet. It's just started pissing down with rain. Um, I'm in the high street, the Koh Samet high street. You've got 7 Eleven and 7 Eleven each side of the road. Um, I'm not a fancy a singer. So uh, I came in here for a quick pint, quick beer the other day. Um, it's called Aldi Bar. Um, eat, laugh, talk, kiss. Drink and shout. Funky little bar. Got loud music going on. Um, the last time I came here, the landlord was a very friendly guy. Made me feel very welcome. And um, oh, this is him. Howdy, welcome how are Aldi you? Good, bro. Nice to see and you. you? you okay? guy. Really makes you feel welcome. And uh, I'm gonna get myself a singer. Happy hour. Is it happy hour? Wow. So you have happy hour as well. Um, yeah, they got a cool table. Actually, so basically, yeah, this is um, this is Audi bar. Definitely worthwhile a visit. A lot of graffiti on the walls. Um, just a little bit livelier later on. Uh, if you want, anyone you want to know or need to know or anything you need to know, basically, this is the place to come. Come and speak to Audi, he'll help you out. He's a uh, fan of him, pretty knowledgeable about everything. So, you know. I think I feel pretty much. And basically, yeah, that's it. This is the Audi bar. If you are in uh, in Samet, then definitely pop in and tell them you came from Kev. So as it's my last day on this fantastic little island, Koh Med, I thought I'd nip down the beach and grab myself some lunch before I head off back to the mainland. 
Um, as usual, feel free to leave comments below. Uh, give me a click on a cheeky little thumbs up would be really, really appreciated. And if you'd like to see some more videos that I'll be making in the very near future of different places um, with Chef's Travels, then please subscribe and we'll keep you updated. So as you can see, yet again, another fantastic day in paradise. Um, today I'm gonna to be eating in this little bar, called a uh, little restaurant called Jeff's Restaurant. Okay. What I'm having is like a ceviche sort of salad thing with bean sprouts and pork. And today I thought I'd try the uh, Tom Kai soup. It's like a Tom Yam. Um, but definitely more of a soupy sort of thing. And that works out 200 and 220 baht, which is about six quid. Um, as you can see, creamy sort of soupy thing. Really, really runny. Ideal for a light meal on a hot day like today. Uh, a bit of rice. And uh, the Son, Son Tom, Son Yang salad. And uh, I'm gonna, well, I guess I better get stuck in. You can see it is, it is a proper soup. It's got pork, it's got tomatoes in it. Um, usual lime, kaffir leaves. It's got a bit of fish in it as well. Or, don't really know what that is, but I will find out later and let you know. It looks like a sea mushroom. It's the closest thing I can get to thinking about what it is. Some green beans. Flavoursome. <laughs> got that typical Thai green curry paste flavour. Um, Kaffir leaves, lemongrass, chilies, but not too much. It's not really a spicy soup. It's very, very mild. Um, again with the rice. Try a bit of this. Kaffir leaves. Mm. Fantastic. We've got some raw green beans here, which isn't really my cup of tea, but the salad itself is really refreshing, really nice. So basically, yeah, that gets another thumbs up. And uh, one more thing before I go, the name's Bond, James Bond. <laughs>